No, sir. Should we start with the interview? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Can you write a string? Write ABC and keep in ABC, right? No, sir. Write ABC and? Write let ABC equals to no, sir. Okay, Yes. And okay, on the next line, right? ABC of 2, ABC yes. square brackets, and in square brackets, write 2 equals to R in a string. Okay. And on mm -hmm. the next line, write console log of ABC. Yes. Tell me what will be the output and why. Output output will be said no shard as it is. Why? Because a string is immutable. We can't uh, change through the index. Okay. Okay. So instead of if we remove that square brackets of two, mm -hmm. then what we will receive? Uh, we will receive only R. Okay. 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 Fine. You can comment this out. Uh, write let a equals to mm -hmm. 100 uh, write let z equals to let z equals to write a plus plus okay and uh, on the next line write console log of a plus z, a plus z. yes tell me what will be the output so output will be a equal to 100 and then z plus plus so it will be uh, i said 202 202 are you sure yes sir okay. here we are using yes yes, yes. yeah go ahead uh, so here first we initialize a value uh, with late and here we a is equal to 10 okay and in second line we are 100. Reading, yeah a is 100 okay and in second line we are uh, uh, creating another value and putting a as a value in variable z and here we are using post uh, post increment okay. so that is why when we will control a while controlling uh, a it will be 101 okay, okay. So 101 plus Z and Z is equal to already 101. That, that is why 202. Okay, run this. Yes. So where do you yes, think sir. where you have gone wrong? Yeah, sir. Uh, let Z is equal to 1, uh, sorry, A plus plus will be 100 because it is post uh, 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 increment. So first it will use 100 and after whenever we will use A, then it will be 101. So, so here Z, Z... So which value is 100? No, Z will be... Uh, A will be uh, 101 or Z will be uh, 100. Yes. Yes. Okay, fine. Now you can comment this out. Can you write a string? Right, my name is Nosad. Uh, let. Yeah, you have to keep it in a string. Let us like, uh, equals to my name is Nosad. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now what you have to do is you have to reverse. So output should be <laughs> YM, then space, then E m a n then space s i then space uh, d a s u a n you got it you have to you reverse it. yeah you have to just reverse the word but that word should be placed there only so okay. you can write a function for that Uh, I'm not able to do this. Okay, fine. Then you can comment this out. Okay, write a name like Nosad Alam. 
first two instruments no sir dala and you have to find out character count of each character present in that string so for example n is present right n is present one time so it uh, it should bring as output as n colon 1 a how many times it is present three times so a colon 3 and so on you have to find out the character count of each character yeah i got it sir okay fine go ahead will you be able to do it or like should we move ahead mm sir i am not able to do it sir okay fine because yeah fine you can comment this one. write an array write 1 10 18 4 6 Okay, and on the next uh, write a function next line function a b c. Okay, in that we have to write b parameters b comma triple dot a triple dot a. Okay. and inside the function you have to write console log of a and go outside in the function just call it abc comma uh, write abc in parenthesis right 8 9 10 11 12 8 9 10 11 12 Tell me what will be the output? Uh, ARR uh, go to seventeen line ARR. Seventeen. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, instead of four, write fourteen. One four. Now tell me what will be the output and why? Console log will be sir nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think. You think you are not sure? You want to say? Yes, sir. I am sure that nine, ten, eleven, twelve will be the uh, output. Okay, fine. You can comment this out. Can you write an array? Write const arr equals to write a character. Okay, then comma one, comma one as a number, b as a character. Two comma two. Yes, just put the tab. Okay. Now you have to separate characters and numbers in different arrays. You can write that function for it. Yes. In one array, I have to put A B C, and in another array, I have to put one two three. Yes. 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 How will you distinguish element? Uh, I'm. How will you check type? I hope you are able to understand what I mean. Uh, yes, if type. Okay, you can comment this out. You have to swap two numbers. Okay, you can remove this if you want. Uh, you have to swap two numbers without using third variable. Okay, let a is equal to two. Take other as three and just swap it. Let b is equal to three, and I have to swap like a is equal to three and b is equal to two. Two without using third variable. I think a is equal to b. So this will be answer. Console log a is equal to b.
will you be able to yeah. do it so this will be i think this is the way through that i, I we can do okay, like that okay then you can show me the output so we have to console a comma e b is equal to 3 3 what do you think now sir uh sir here only like if you are assigning e is to be that okay i will give you one hint if you can do that with the help mm -hmm. of destructuring can you do that destructure no sir i forgot i think no sir i am not able to do a comma b able. equals to b comma a in square a. brackets okay got it okay fine no okay fine you can this okay uh, write to array 1 2 3 uh, write first array 1 2 3 4 5 Second array, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. You have to find out the intersection of two arrays as a resultant. So uh, output should be three, four, five, as uh, both ha array has three, four, five. So we have to bring out common elements. Common elements. Yes. Yes, sir. Then. Yeah, you can show me the output. Will you be able to do it, or like, do you want to move ahead? If you want to try something. I'm not able to do it, sir. Okay. Hello. Okay, fine, fine. You can comment this out. Okay, write an array. One, two, three, four, five. I want resultant as multiplication of all five numbers. Ah, uh, with the help of reduce method. Sorry, sir. I'm not able to do it. Okay. Reduce. Okay. Fine. You can remove this out. What is polyfill in JavaScript? Polyfill. Yes. Oh, I don't know, sir. I, I'm I'm hearing this name for the first time. Okay. Fine. Do you know what JSON dot parse method does? Parse method. Yes. Yeah. It is used to convert. any string to number like like there is a number uh, starting with 1 2 3 and the, and some string is also there so when we put that string in parse into that then it will be number like json dot parse it is used for conversion into number no no, no. sir i i thought it was uh, parse int okay. uh, it is yeah okay you thought it is parse int okay Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you tell me difference between call apply and bind function? Call apply and bind function. Yes. No sir. Call apply. And okay. I don't. Okay, fine. Can you tell me the difference between the normal functions and arrow functions? Yeah. Uh, like uh, in in normal function, we have to 
create uh, write the function with function key and we don't need function key with arrow function function keyword okay that's the only difference uh like in in normal function uh, we can use uh, this method but in arrow function we can't use this method or this keyword oh uh, sorry this keyword okay okay fine uh, tell me the different es6 features included in javascript ES six yes yeah ES six feature is uh, like a spread operator okay uh, a spread operator and arrow functions arrow function yes. yeah arrow function a spread operator and a uh, destructuring uh, de with a spread okay destructuring okay and okay fine no sir yeah. yeah, no, sir, that's it for the interview.